science invention. Did you know if you add up all the time you've spent sitting on the toilet by your 10th birthday, it comes to more than two months? Two months on the loo, Auntie B. That's a long time. Well, it would be if you did it in one go. And you'd need a very comfy toilet seat. Brilliant invention. Did you know popcorn kernels can jump as high as one metre into the air when they pop? That's about the same height as a three-year-old child. Brilliant invention. Did you know there are animals who can stick? Some, like frogs and bats, use suction cups to hold their weight. And geckos have toe pads covered in tiny hairs they use to stick to things. But my favourites are snails. They make their own slime, which helps them stick to things they're climbing up. Brilliant invention. Did you know elephants' trunks have suction power too? Elephants can use their trunks to suck up at least five litres of water at a time. Then they can drink the water or spray it over themselves if they're too hot. Brilliant invention. Did you know the biggest tractor in the world is about twice the size of a normal tractor? It's called Big Bud and its wheels are almost two and a half metres tall. That's as tall as Cormac with a baby standing on top of him. Brilliant invention. Did you know there's a bicycle made for two? It's called a tandem bicycle. And yes, people cycle it together. Some people are very good at it, like these two Irish athletes, Katie George Dunleavy and Eve McChrystal. They've won loads of medals with their tandem, including gold for Ireland at the Paralympics. Brilliant invention. Did you know there are drones that can go underwater? That's right. Look at that one go. And can you guess what they're called? Underwater drones. What else? They take great videos of what's going on under the water. I just hope they don't scare the fish while they're down there. Brilliant invention. Did you know some plastics are now made from vegetables? Yes, indeed. Scientists are coming up with new ways to make plastic that's better for our planet. They're able to make plastic using old mangoes, fish waste, potatoes, banana skins, and even milk. But remember, the best thing for our planet is to use as few plastic bags as possible. And if we do use a bag, we should try to use it over and over and over again. Brilliant invention. Did you know water soakers were invented by a space scientist? NASA engineer Lonnie Johnson came up with the idea while he was doing an experiment at home. He was hooking a nozzle up to his bathroom sink, accidentally shot a stream of water across the floor and thought, this could be fun. Brilliant invention. Did you know the inventor of writing for the blind was a teenager called Louis Braille? He came up with the idea of using bumps and grooves so your fingers can do the reading. This type of writing is called Braille, named after Louis himself. Brilliant invention. Did you know we think skateboards were invented when surfers were looking for something to do when the waves were too low to surf on. So they attached roller skate wheels to pieces of wood and came up with the skateboard. They do look a bit like tiny surfboards, don't they? Brilliant invention. Did you know there's an underwater telescope? It allows us to see what's going on underwater without getting too wet. It was invented by a woman called Sarah Mather over 150 years ago. Now it's not actually a telescope, as it doesn't magnify, but it's a brilliant invention that we still use today. Brilliant invention. Did you know when the waterproof watch was invented, it was shown off in a bowl of water surrounded by fish. And this waterproof watch became very famous. 
About 100 years ago, it was tested by a brilliant swimmer called Mercedes Gleitze. She wore the watch while swimming from France to England. And even after 10 hours, the watch was still working perfectly. Yay! Brilliant invention. Yeah! Did you know the brightest beam of light in the world is so bright it's visible to planes over 442 kilometers away? It's on top of a hotel in a place called Las Vegas. That's a bit too much energy to be wasting if you ask me, but it's bright all right. Get it? Bright all right. Brilliant invention. Yeah! Did you know we can also get rubber from dandelions? Yes, indeed. The sap inside the dandelions growing in our gardens could also make rubber. Except dandelions don't produce anything like the same amount of sap as the rubber tree, so we'd have to grow lots of them, and I mean lots. 